bearing up before us we hang on the hem of your gown blue sky come promise not to leave us terry Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's Decorate With Me. Today is spring slash Easter. I'm not quite sure how much more Easter I will add, but I'm really excited to share how I decorated my kitchen, which is a first in a really long time. I usually always show you guys the living room or the coffee bar to start with and that's usually because I love the final product of those two areas more but I'm really excited about a new addition in our kitchen and I absolutely love how it turned out. Some things have obviously changed around here and part of my kitchen and countertop is dedicated to baby boy, but nonetheless, I really do love how everything came out and I'm excited to share with you guys. Before we jump into it, I do quickly wanna show you guys some items I have picked up that I have not shared and they are mainly for the kitchen. So. First one is just super simple. It's just this like towel holder. This is from the Hearth and Hand line. And I just like that it has that like brass gold touch to it. The one I had before was just completely wooden and it broke. So it was time for a new one. This was $20, which is a bit steep, but it lasts for a really long time. And if you guys can hear little baby boy Johnny down here, he is just chilling in his bouncer while I film this and he's being so, so good. Next up from the Hearth and Hand line are the salt and pepper shakers. This is just like the marble material. Absolutely love this. I really was hesitant about getting this. I feel like my style is recently changing and I'm I'm surprising myself with things I'm picking up, but this was $14.99, I believe. I really wanted the utensil holder, but I could not find it anywhere and it's not available online anymore, so. Oh well, but next up, the only thing I've purchased from Hobby Lobby is just this pestle and mor mortar. I don't know, I probably am butchering how you pronounce that, but this was only $9.99, which I thought was really good. It's super heavy and good quality, and I've been wanting one of these for a while, but they're always a little bit steep in their price, so I'm happy I got this. And lastly, from Amazon, I actually went thrifting for a candle snuffer and I couldn't find any at all. So I was happy that I found this on Amazon. It's just pretty unique in my opinion. It has a unique shape and it's pretty big to be completely honest, but I love the brass color to it again. And this was $14. So again, a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but nonetheless, it does exactly what I wanted it to do within my decor, which you guys will see in just a bit, but that is it. As always, if you guys enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Following, I have my coffee bar, dining room table, and my living room, so yeah, definitely don't wanna miss those, and let's go ahead and get started with decorating. It was finally time to say goodbye to the kitchen rods and hello to something new. I absolutely love this wall shelf that Jonathan built for me. I wish I could say this was my idea, but I actually got it from someone on TikTok. I will go ahead and link the creator and the video down below in the description box. But when I saw it, I knew it was exactly what I wanted for this specific spot in my kitchen. Like I said earlier I was kind of getting tired and bored of decorating those two rods I had here plus I didn't really feel like they fit my style anymore and I'm slowly trying to start incorporating different things that fit more of what I'm going for so these were just perfect I love how they came out and of course Jonathan did a beautiful job at building this there's a few little touch-ups that I need to make, but anyways, 
to the decorating this is the perfect spot to display all of my cutting board still while still being able to add a few decorative touches i also feel that my cooking books would look so good here so i did go ahead and add one down below here the magnolia table volume three i love the green color of it it's so beautiful and then i'm just adding tiny little touches throughout it also works to still hang a few things so i'm hanging this kitchen towel i got from joann's i think last year right here i think it's the perfect spring touch alongside that art piece that i have i truly wanted this to be the focal point usually i love my coffee bar to be the focal point but i'm just so excited about these shelves that i just wanted this to be the focus point so anyways just finishing off off the top shelf by adding some more cutting boards some candles and some floral touches as well I thought the mauve colored candles look so good here and just added a little bit of pink for spring and the candle snuffer you guys I really love how this looks on these shelves it's the perfect size and as I was saying I could still hang stuff here so I'm just adding this little basket with some dried baby's breath these are from Valentine's Day so I just went ahead and dried them and I just love decorating with them now for the little corner of my kitchen that I tend to decorate I really got tired of the lamp that I usually have so I took it down I'm adding my other two magnolia table cookbooks and then a candle holder with some candles and some flowers these baby breaths I'm about to use are faux baby's breath from Hobby Lobby but nonetheless I still love how they look and then right next to it I'm going to add the pestle and mortar I think that's how you say it that I showed at the beginning of my video and yeah that's it for this corner Just kidding, I lied. I am going to be adding these little picture frames that I made a while back with ultrasound pictures of our baby. But look at this picture of Jonathan when he was a little kid. He just looks exactly like our little baby Johnny. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments. But a lot of you guys already told me that he looks like a mini Jonathan, which I can't agree more. I think he's an exact copy. Nonetheless, for this countertop, as you guys can tell, there is no decor. It has been taken over by these two appliances that are meant for our baby boy's bottles. But it's okay. We'll get to decorate them again one day. It's not like I was decorating them previously anyways, but now moving on to the front of my stove i'm just adding these kitchen towels these are from the hearth and hand line this year their spring collection and in front of my sink i'm just adding this rug i am teaching myself that i can combine darker and lighter colors and that was my goal for spring i wanted a spring look but moody if that makes sense i don't know it was a complete new challenge but i really do love how everything came together you guys are getting a sneak peek of the coffee bar but anyways for my island i'm just adding these pieces of course the pink cosmos that i absolutely love i've used these three years in a row i want to say they are from hobby lobby and again they tend to sell out really quickly 
during spring so if you guys like them go and get yourself some but I'm just adding those into this black vase which is also from Hobby Lobby and like I was saying combining those pastel spring colors with the darker moody colors just I don't know it just came out so good in my opinion and I really am enjoying it next I just added these two little bowls a candle and then uh, lastly the salt and pepper shakers I hauled earlier in the video if I quit by Alrighty, you guys well that is everything for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it brought you some inspiration I am really excited because I am finally feeling inspired and in love with my kitchen and the way I'm decorating it which has been a long time coming I know I keep saying we want to remodel it which we do but just life has been a little bit crazy but hopefully one day we get to it but for now i really love the shelf it really did give me a new point of inspiration and i hope it inspired all of you as well as always if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe i do have my coffee bar and my living room coming up i'm also thinking of decorating my bedroom and just kind of refreshing everything for spring so i don't want any of you guys to miss out on those videos as well as some motherhood content coming up so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next one